welcome to JP's Garage Show. On this one, I was kind of trying to go for the Jurassic Park walking stick with the uh, mosquito stuck in the middle, but it didn't quite work out. The mosquito just kept on floating to the top, so I ended up just making this weird orb stick. But the process was pretty cool, so I'll show you guys that in this video. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, there were so many problems that came up in making this stick that... Uh, I almost bailed on it, but I just decided to go through with it because I was knees deep. So uh, let's check it out. I cut off the bottom of a water bottle and dried it out completely because this is where we're going to pour the resin and let it cure uh, for a couple days until it's completely solid. Now I found this uh, epoxy for about 16 bucks on Amazon for 20 ounces and so I put a link in the description for you guys and whatever else that's in this video there's going to be a link there as well so if you need anything go ahead and uh, check that out. So here I'm not using anything special to dye this epoxy I'm just using food coloring because it's all I have at the moment but uh, it seems to work pretty good. My only issue is that I used too much red. I didn't want it to be this orange. It needs to be like more of a yellow. And so I had epoxied this dowel right to the block and here I'm slapping on the lathe for the first time. But we'll see in a few moments here that the uh, dowel didn't work out at all. So I had to figure out a new option there and uh, we'll see that as well. Look at that. Sucker broke right off. That's no good. No good. So I'm going to have to sand down this block really good, nice and flat. And then what I'm going to do is epoxy it to another wood blank. And so here I am preparing just the little amount of epoxy that I'm going to need to glue it to this blank. Um, so just mixing it one to one ratio, slap it on there. Slap the uh, blank to the blank and uh, you can kind of see the mosquito that's stuck in there still. <laughs> uh, yeah, that didn't work out so I just made this cool windfall. So go ahead and let that sucker dry for a couple days and then uh, here we are, we're ready. So we're slapping it back on the lathe. This time it's much stronger. It's going to be a lot more safe. Or so we think. And we finally get to turn in. And now this tool I got on Amazon as well. And you know where to find that link over in the description. Um, this one is actually pretty cheap. I got it for I think like 30 bucks or something. Which is pretty good for a turning scraper. Now I'm just carving it down, getting all the plastic water bottle bits off, and uh, we'll make it cylindrical, and then we'll try to shape it up. Now if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get this channel off the ground, and any help I can get, I definitely appreciate. I'm going to be making more videos like this soon with epoxy, woodworking, any sort of projects I can get my hands on. Um, definitely looking forward to making more videos for you guys. So uh, why don't you actually go down to the comments and comment something that you're interested in seeing a video of. Just anything. Could be a Christmas tree ornament, could be a snow board uh, probably not on a snowboard but you know just use your imagination I know that I am going to be making some sort of like a skateboard dragon egg I know those are pretty popular with the lathe videos and so I'll see if I can get one of those up there for you guys nice little dragon egg And now that I was able to round out the top of it, I kind of made this jig to uh, hold it stable as I carve out the sides a little bit more.
Now here I switched to a round tip um, carbide scraper so that I could round out the ball shape a little bit more. This scraper was a little bit more, it was like 50 bucks. And now we get to the sanding. Of course you want to start at a lower grit and then move slowly to a finer grit. I used like 220 and then I went up to 500 and then I went up to 1000. And the 500 and the 1000 are actually wet dry sandpaper so that's why I'm getting it wet right here. It kind of looks cool. This way you can get really nice like shiny look at the end if you go high enough grit at least. So 1000 actually made it look a little bit matte so it wasn't quite what I wanted but it uh, still looks pretty cool. And here's where it starts to get a little bit sketchy. It starts wobbling out of control and it flies off and hits the wall. If I hadn't have seen this coming, I could have probably just died right there. And so, uh, you know, here I am putting my life on the line just so you guys can see this really cool walking stick get built. Luckily, there was no marks on it at all, so it worked out perfectly. I didn't even have to cut it off. So here I'm just cutting off the top of the stick to make it nice and flat, and we're gonna drill a hole there and epoxy on the uh, little handle to the walking stick. Now unfortunately, the stick is the only thing that's not listed down below um, because, you know, sometimes you just gotta walk through the woods and uh, find yourself a good stick. Go outside, look around, find a tree, and uh, break up a stick. Listen, whatever you gotta do, just find yourself a good stick. And now we're going to glue this sucker together with the epoxy, so fill up the hole with the epoxy, lather some on the ball of choice, and then uh, stick it on there. Make sure it's nice and firm so that it dries solid and uh, doesn't fall off a few days later or something. So now that it's on there, I went ahead and used my innovation skills, took some tape and stuck it on there really good and waited till it dried for a couple days. And now I'm sanding it down um, really good, well the stick part at least, the orb is already sanded and uh, get that nice and ready for some finish. And so I'm taking some Howard's beeswax, feed and wax, and I'm just going to lather the whole stick up. I know with the epoxy you're usually supposed to use like a polyurethane, but I'm just using this wood wax and uh, I'm going to call it good. It's going to look pretty good. A nice little uh, wizard stick, if you will. So I'll go show it to your friends if uh, you built the same thing. Alright guys, so just so you know, everything that was used in this video is linked down in the description. Go ahead and pick up whatever you need, and this is our final product, so pretty sweet little walking stick. And you could probably cast some spells on your friends or someone you don't like, your enemy or something. And I just want to remind you guys to go ahead and subscribe and like this video, and I uh, very much appreciate it. Hope to see you guys soon.